Nothing has affected our family like this ever before. But we just got to remember the, it, okay? the happiness that she brought to our family, okay? You can find good, good in everything. E.B., why are you singing? What are you singing? The Marky Christmas song. Oh, Christmas song? Good morning guys, we are getting our day going, me and Eb here. Ugh, 2019, still getting used to that. Setting goals. Um, and I have more goals than the one I told you, but that was the one I'm gonna talk about. Other ones are more religious and um, business related, but yeah, I'm excited to get things for this year, excited to see where it comes, so. Um, heading home. All right guys, we just got home from the New Year's thing and um, we came home to Sky Died and we've been, everybody's just been crying for the last couple hours. What's so hard hours. is that she had food and water and warmth. Like, I don't know why she died. Yeah. We were only gone sick. for like a day and a half. Yeah. So, um, we still don't even know if Daisy was allergic or what actually happened, but everybody's just super sad right now, and we're just kind of figuring out what we're gonna do next, but. I'm so sorry, Daisy. Um, every, it's just, we're just really sad right now, so. It's not a happy day, and Dave this and is Daisy part of. Are both in Ray and Daisy are probably taking it the worst. And it's bringing up memories of Ambry's Bunny. rabbit that she lost, and. So we have three kids that are just hysterical. They, they saved some of Sky's feathers to kind of remember her, and we're still gonna find out if Daisy is allergic. I don't know if we'll I get another bird or what's gonna happen, but I um, just wanted to give you guys an update of what's been happening. So. I'm sorry, Daisy. I love you. Sorry, guys. Dad! This is kind of like part of life. Like, pets sometimes die, and it's really hard. And I remember when I was your age, I was actually in fifth grade. Is that what you're in? Mm -hmm. I was in fifth grade, same as Daisy, and I had a parakeet that I loved so much, just the same as Daisy. I held it all the time. And the cat got it and killed it, and I remember how horrible that was, and it was sad. But I'm, I still talk about my bird all the time. And I think about it all the time. Daisy, we just got to so remember. I'm so happy that I had that bond with my bird because it brought me so much <sighs> happiness and joy. And you got to think of all that good We just got to remember the, joy, okay? the happiness that she brought to our family, okay? The good times. And she's still there and you'll see her again, okay? What keeps just killing me is that normally we would have just taken her. We always take Sky because we just love her so much. Everyone loved her. The only reason we didn't take her is because of Daisy's allergy. We thought, oh, we just need to keep her away. This will be a good couple days to get it out of Daisy's system and like hopefully let her heal all the way so we can start and get some answers because we never got answers from the doctor and because he wasn't there and so now we're going today. I still want to get answers because I know Daisy would love to get another bird because she loved that bird so much. And I also know that you can never replace it because a new bird will be biting and mean and you have to train it again and who knows if it will ever even have that bond. Oh, it's devastating. It's just heart-wrenching. At least Evie's okay still. She doesn't really know what's going on. What are you doing? Did Dad get you some pictures of Sammy? Oh, here you go. Turtle's still going strong. Reptiles are easier to keep alive than other birds. Let's just say that. Yeah, you're still here. Raptor's still here. Barely. What's the matter? Are you okay, sweetie? You gonna be okay? Oh, Daisy, where's the pictures of Sky Dad printed for you? Over there. Oh. Well, we should get some pictures of it, like a photo frame instead of bending them. There we go. That's better. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Let's put this one by your bed, okay? We have to keep everyone's minds off of it. Zade suggested that we play a game together as a family. I think we're gonna try to play this to 
just try to get everyone's minds off of it because we have about an hour and a half before Daisy's appointment and that's the next thing on our list to do. And we're all just sitting around crying, so we gotta do something. You okay, Paula? Even Paula's crying. <laughs> Oh. On a brighter note, E.B. decided to go potty, poop on the potty today, huh? Is that the toy you got for going poop on the potty? What is it? Is that a Cinderella? No. And Aurora. Aurora? Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, Baby, it's a do you want to take out the play good day one for Eby. So she got a toy and do you want to take this out? she's contently okay. playing. Playing some settlers, oh, eating chocolate. Update on her back, there are definitely some itchy allergic spots. Boy, itchy. So Daisy's at the allergist and obviously it sucks to have to go today. She just found out her poor beloved bird passed away. And I've been researching it and it seems like maybe Skye was sick and we didn't know it. I don't know. I'm just so heartbroken. It doesn't really even matter. Like, I need to stop trying to figure out why she died and just accept that she's not here and move on and just remember her. I feel, I just am sick about it because I just hate seeing my kids in pain and Daisy's so hurt. And it's gonna be a long time before she's okay. I don't think she'll ever be the same. But she will find a way to be okay eventually. She's really depressed and having a hard time even eating and functioning and hopefully we get some answers from this test though. So then Davey said that the bird test. Yeah, they did a whole bunch of different things. Actually came um, back. She's slightly allergic to cats. Um, she's uh, allergic to Kentucky bluegrass and um, tumbleweeds. <laughs> I'm guessing everybody is kind of allergic to it. But um, those were the main things. And dust mites, a little bit allergic to dust mites, so that dust could have been mites. causing some of it. But he said that that's why it's happening now. And he said maybe like she's been exposed to something for a period of time, but then something else doubled up, and that's what pushed her over the edge to get the bad rash over the extended period of time. But they're going to do one more um, different type of test where they inject something into her skin. And, uh, look, find out more info about bird allergy. I'm relieved to know it wasn't the bird, but I wonder now if Sky did have some kind of mite. Okay, or so they've just done the new test right here. F is for fun. Daisy, did it hurt? Hurt a little bit. F is probably for feathers. Did it hurt? Yes. Daisy felt pain. She usually doesn't feel very much pain. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get. Swelling up now. Yeah, so we're gonna find out what's going on here. So we just left. We are at Walmart right now. Daisy is not allergic to birds at all, zero percent. So um, he gave me some precautionary things to do. I'm buying those items now. He said that she was a little bit allergic to dust mites. And then he said, like we did change our laundry detergent recently and he said, change back to what you were using before she had the reaction, but she had the rash before we did any of that. Like, I'm still so confused. I don't know what is going on because it's like the rash was right where the bird would sit. I just don't know. I'm so sad. I don't know why Daisy had that crazy rash and allergic reaction. Nothing from that testing today would have made sense to like for sure what it was. But at least we know she's for sure not allergic to birds. So if Daisy got another bird, that would not be the culprit. I think we will probably get her another bird. I just can't imagine her not having one. Like she just needs a parrot on her shoulder all the time. But I'm just heartbroken because I know it's never gonna be Sky. Oh, sad vlog today, guys. Uh, sad day today, just like hard things, hard things. We're gonna figure this out though. I know it's gonna be okay. That's all you can do is just keep on moving on. So the Shumways just brought over some cookies for Daisy because they feel so bad. And then also, Another one of her, our friends brought over Daisy this gift to the EB. Oh, so sweet of them. I mean, 
We're so lucky to have so many wonderful people that care about us. And no, 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 this is Daisy's. She's home now, let's go give it to her. To Daisy, it's a family member. And I know it's just a pet, but these people, like other people, it's really easy for them to be like, oh, it's just a pet, they'll be fine. But like, look how sweet. They're, they're truly like caring about her feelings and how she feels about it, and it's so sweet. The power of prayer is pretty amazing because Daisy's being, she's been smiling and cracking jokes, and she's starting to feel better. Her heart's being comforted. Look, we even had friends. The Guymans brought this to you, and the uh, Shumways brought this to you. Aww. Aww, isn't that nice? Something to cuddle with when you're maybe feeling a little bit sad or just need something to warm you up, warm your heart. And then these giant cookies that we kind of stole a couple because you can't eat them all, right? Daisy, are you okay? I'm pretty good. We had a Accidents happen, huh? We never know what's gonna happen in this life. We can only choose our attitude and that's the only thing you can choose. All right, you guys, it's been a tough day. I did some research and let me just tell you, I think I figured out the whole entire, like I, things like this bug me until I figure them out. I think I have a theory, I'm gonna tell it to you guys and then time will tell if it's true. I believe that Sky's food months ago, this happened like three or four months ago, this one, dumped it all on the ground and then poured a sippy on it of water and then it was like a brand new bag so Daisy like scooped it up off of the ground and put it back into the bag and some of it was wet and I didn't know that this had happened because she'd like dumped it out a couple times and I cleaned it up the first time and then like I think a couple times after that I got and cleaned up and I think that the food got contaminated with water and whatever dust from the floor who knows um, it's very possible that dust mites were like breeding in the food, but the food started stinking really bad and Daisy didn't say anything to me because she didn't know like what was going on. She didn't think anything of it because she's a little girl and like I don't feed the birds so I didn't notice it. But that's I think around the time when her neck started to get rashy was when the food started to smell bad. And then um, Ambry mentioned it to me a couple days ago and was like, Sky's food stinks so bad. And I was like, what? So I went in there and I opened the bag and oh my gosh, you guys, the food smelled so bad. Like it had moldy chunks in it and I was like, don't feed this to her anymore. So I threw the whole bag out and the only food we had left was like the big kernels of, it was a bag of food that four small birds that I had bought earlier when we were on vacation and Skye would not touch it. She wouldn't eat it at all. So we ended up having to go buy her other treats and stuff and like feed her human food like bread and fruits and stuff while we were on vacation because she would not touch the, the food. And um, then we just kind of had that bag in the back. So I was like, okay, well we'll feed her this until her other food comes. So I ordered it on Amazon because I can't find it in stores. And it was supposed to get here tomorrow. I put it in there as we left for this vacation and I forgot to put other things for her to eat in there. It's totally my fault. I didn't put like I should have put bread and fruit in there but I just thought like oh she has food and water she'll get hungry enough when pets get hungry enough they eat right I was wrong one and a half days later she did not touch that food I think that's what happened she was starving because she had food and water but she chose not to eat it because I looked up I, I like tested my theory with Google I said will a parallel starve itself if it doesn't like the food and sure enough it says if you switch food and they don't like the food they will starve themselves so you have to be really careful when you switch a bird's food to make sure they're still eating had I known this you guys of course I would not have done what I did and I feel horrible and I am like having so much guilt and I'm just beating myself up and I'm crying about it and I'm just like praying that I will feel better and the atonement is even for things like this like I messed up I didn't have education I got it now and I made sure that the kids knew like if we ever get another bird I mean you have to learn things as you go I guess because this is not something anyone told me it's not something that everyone just thinks like, oh, if a pet's hungry enough and there's food in there, they'll eat it, right? Not with birds. So I wanted to tell you guys exactly what happened. Because if you have a little paralette or a bird, because I know a lot of people have gotten paralettes because of Daisy's bird because she was so awesome. Like we know like three people that have gotten a great pet. paralettes because how awesome she was. And they're very awesome birds and they last for like 30 years. They, they can live for 30 years and that's what kills me. She was only a year old. <laughs> 
if they're properly taken care of. And so this is a huge piece of education that we got and I'm going to use it. It's not going to go to waste because I think we will have another parallel one day. Maybe not for a little while. Wait, I think we had a little talk with Daisy and she, she feels she better kinda, right now. She well, yeah, she agreed that maybe let's wait a little bit, but she does want to get one of it. I want to research a little bit more and be ready for the next one that we get. But I can't imagine not having one. I know it was just like, part of our family. She, and I'll never be able to replace Sky, but I just we'll talk to Davy, Daisy tomorrow and see how she feels about getting another pet. But for it now, it was so heartbreaking today when I got home and everybody. It was just the saddest thing. Everybody. I don't think it we've was, ever. Nothing has felt affected like the kids that, ever. As a nothing. Just Every has kid, even us all. Evie, was just hysterically crying. Just tears wailing. It was so sad. We all just hugged on Daisy's we bed. We just held each other. And even Paula, everyone was just. So that. Nothing has affected our family like this ever before, but um, I, I'm, I had a good time out with Daisy. I was able to cheer her up. We were joking by the end of it. And I think that like prayers, people were praying for her, and it was getting I to think her that's like big. she had a if full full change of like heart, that. and um, we were joking by the end. And I thought she would never smile again today when I, she was. I, know. I was it like, was breaking oh. my heart. Even at the doctor's appointment, he started making jokes at the beginning, and she was like. And it, not laughing, no. and then he started asking her about the bird. Like, does he snug? Does she snuggle up on you and stuff? And did that like, make her cry? Well, I just like, well, let me just throw. Let me just. I'm just gonna give you a heads up. The bird died today, and he's like, oh, no. and he was so sad. And he kind of started Aww. changed his tone and was more comforting to her and stuff. And then just went. Was she it. crying in the office? That's her so her eyes were starting to well, water up when I had, when I had to tell the doctor that. And I'm still so upset because I could have stopped this, and had we known. What kills me too is that the doctor didn't, we had an appointment on Monday and he didn't come. Like we were in his office and he didn't come and he had an emergency if he, would, come if he wouldn't have had an emergency and if he would have come, I would have known that she wasn't allergic to birds at all and we would have brought her this weekend and she, she would have been, been fine. She would have been with us and would have had food. And... So like there's so many little things, we did everything in our power but. All we know is that Everything happens for a reason. We don't know what the reason is right now, and maybe we'll never know until the next life. But well, I don't we know. have to go through adversity and hard things, and sometimes they're our fault, and sometimes they're not. And sometimes, like you can always say, like, "Oh, I wish you could go back in the future and change something," but it was all in pure innocence, and we are terribly sorry, but. That does help me to know that like she was so loved and and like hopefully this will help us in the future with some other experiences. But okay, I know I gotta go. Okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll Thanks find good in this, guys. Okay. <laughs> see ya.